Hello everybody, my name is Adolf Anderson and this is the first episode of my Let's Play for Resident Evil 4 for the PlayStation 4. Um, this is my first Let's Play ever done and uh, this is just a bucket list kind of thing and I'm really hoping it takes off and does well. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. We're going to see the cutscene and then we're going to get down to the dirty. I have had to do this video, this first intro video, about five times now because there's been uh, an issue, a bug, a video, an audio glitch, something just has just stopped this and its tracks. So if it doesn't work this time, I think it's going to be a sign from God that I just need to stop trying this. So anyway, new Resident game. Evil 4. Never forget it. It was the year when mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. I have been looking forward to this so much. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. Six years have passed since we started this cutscene. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. You're screwed. Okay, I don't know about anybody else, but if there's this old, dusty, foggy road, it's not even really a road, it's just dirt path. I don't care how badly I gotta pee, I'm not getting out of the car in this environment. It was right this before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, Get that there's reliable out of my information face. about a sighting of a girl memory. that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. I love how the lower police force has to use their own cars. There's no police car, there's no fancy car. It's just take the Volkswagen. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. 
parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez, who are these guys? Did you say something? Look at that. Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Be on out. Alright, so now that we can finally actually move around and start to play a little bit, um, in case you guys didn't know, this is Resident Evil 4. This is a zombie shooter and it's a whole lot of fun. I love the Resident Evil series, the movies, the storyline, the uh, games, all of it's awesome. Um, let's see if this guy's up to huh. Forget your makeup or something? What a jerk. Anyway, um, so up ahead we've got three crows all in a row. Kind of. um, crows in this game, if you can get them before they fly off, drop stuff. That glowing little light is how you identify that there's items on the ground that you need to pick up. Three. Yay! Three. Three. So, cash. Always a good thing. More moolah. And lastly, a spindle. These things are another form of currency. They're just a token to sell off. Um, we're sent on a mission to find the president's daughter. She could totally be in this house, so we're just going to go check it out. Over to the left is a box. I'm not going to open the box. I've actually recorded this video about five times. This is the fifth time me trying to record this intro video because I've had all these bugs and glitches. There's nothing ever in that box, and I'm sick of looking. Now... Personally, I can't tell if this dude is just deaf uh, excuse me. or if he's Sir? an asshole because I just addressed him and he's got nothing to say. Just totally rude, right? Aside from the fact, you know, I'm barging in his house like a jerk myself, but that's totally his fault. Oh, that face. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. What the hell is that? Lorgate, cabron. What did he say about my Sorry mother? Father. Oh no, look at this shit. Ah! He is an asshole. Shoot him. Freeze. Just shoot him. He's got an axe. Is shoot him. I see he don't want to shoot him. I want to shoot him, so I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him in the legs. He has a kneecap. And kick him. And knife him back. Because that is how you can serve ammo. I didn't point it out, but that truck was actually blocking the path to leave this area. So, there it is. Uh-oh, we better go check on the guy. Shit. Is everything okay? No, never. There was nothing's okay. Local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. So, we got a friendly warning from these people. Oh my god, he dropped something. This dude never dropped something for me. I am surprised to see that. Um, if we check the body, he's not a zombie. Um, the villagers won't come in the house. I don't know why, but they just don't come in. Back here, we have a, his treasure trove of probably his family members. Looks like they've killed a lot of people. I hope Ashley's okay. Um, they don't storm the house. It's kind of a safe zone right now, so I can dawdle if I want to, but I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing, so I don't have to. Um, here's some extra ammo. I'm going to go ahead and reload. If we look out the window, and I break this window, because, you know, the knife is not totally outside the window right now, um, there's three enemies. One there, one down in front of the porch, and the one out there. Now, if I shoot them and try to pick them off from here, they'll run under the porch and I won't be able to hit them and it'll force me to go out anyway. So what I'm going to try to do is quickly break up in the window and shoot this dude. Oh, good headshot. Even though it's only been killed enough. And try to get a one up on this guy. Oh, whatever. 
If you didn't notice, I knifed him in the leg. Um, if you get them while they're walking, they have a higher chance to um, just roll and hit the floor. I'm going to reload again real quick, and I'm going to say that because... I'm surprised they didn't drop anything. Um, I'm a nervous reloader. If I spend a bullet and I don't need to immediately spend another one, I feel the need to just reload because it's a freaky kind of thing for me. Um, there is a benefit to not reloading all the time, and that's when you upgrade your weapon's capacity. You get free ammunition if you've spent all the ammunition in the gun already. Let's check on the boys. So, like I was saying, you get free ammunition in, to fill up the gun if you upgrade the capacity. So, if I know there's a merchant or something coming up for me to upgrade my weapon, and I'm going to upgrade the, current, the uh, capacity, then it's really useful to just have an empty blank. Now, in, there is, in this hut right here is a bunch of useful stuff, but before we get that, I'm going to take out these two crows. And that's my sharpshooting right there. Don't mess up. So there's a grenade. Useful stuff. I'm not going to explain a grenade because everybody knows what a grenade is. This is a puppy. He's a good puppy. He's a good dog. And I believe in doing good things for good animals. And well, I believe in doing good things for animals, period. I don't like to see the trap and crap. So we're going to free him because karma is going to come back at some point. I'm so sure. Um, in the hut, we have a number of boxes. We have some ammunition on the table, some cash. That box just gave us nothing over there, so that's kind of this is our herb. This is our form of healing item in the game. I took a hit so I could use it, but it would be a waste because it heals much more than that. Um, typewriters, because we're old school like this, are used for saving. Um, this is actually where I'm going to end the first video here in a second. Um, I've had to do this about five times now, and I swear to God, if I have to reload this same opening area again, I'm going to break something. So I'm really hoping the audio syncs up. I'm really hoping everything works. Real quick, I'm going to give a shout out to Stack of Penny and um, I can't believe I'm having a brain fart. Um, Charmin Ultra Soft. <laughs> He's going to get shit for forgetting that. Um, they're my gaming buddies. You're going to see them in future videos. They're cool dudes, and that's their props. Um, so anyway, this is how we save, and I've already got a save file because I've tried to save this multiple times. I'm going to overwrite it, of course. And I'm done with this video. Now, normally when people end their videos, they say, please like, comment, subscribe, all this other stuff. I am really just doing this as a bucket list thing. I love gaming. I've been doing it my entire life for a very long time, or ever, it feels like. And this is just something I've always wanted to do. I've been watching a lot of Let's Players do their videos, and I've just gotten inspired to even try. So I'm going through all this hassle with this equipment and program to get this to work so hopefully it does if you guys do like the stuff feel free to like it um it'll encourage me to make more let's plays i'm planning to do a whole bunch of other uh games from my childhood all kinds of good stuff um but yeah i'm done with the video for now it was great doing this i'm having fun with it and i hope to see you guys in the next video